The home cooks are battling it out in the toughest pressure test yet. Oh, Recreating one of the most difficult desserts ever invented, a baked Alaska. Danielle has ruined her first sponge cake and is now waiting to see if her second attempt works out. But she's not the only cook who's struggling. They all look really scared. Not only that they have to make this hot dessert, but someone's going to be going home. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm OK. I see Kayla go up and then go down. OK, I'm OK. You're safe. <laughs> oh my god, that girl will cook even if she has a broken arm. I start to mold my sponge cake, and it's mushy. It is brown globs of goo. Trying to salvage it and put it in a ring mold and cross my fingers. I pull out my second sponge cake. Oh, fuck me. And it's just as bad as first. I'm absolutely ticked. I have no time to make a third sponge cake. I have to use it. Danielle's having a problem with her cake, too. And I'm thinking, maybe hers will be worse than mine. 10 minutes. You only have 10 minutes left. Come on. Your meringue should be going by now. On the meringue, not the easiest of things to make. Separating those egg yolks from the white, making sure there's no contamination, because if you get a bit of that egg yolk into it, it is not going to become light and fluffy. Adding the right amount of sugar and then beating it so it is nice and stiff and easy to work with. That's the key. It has to be stiff so that it creates an insulation around that ice cream. Time to put my meringue on my cake so I can start throwing it on. <laughs> it looked like abstract art. I'm pretty good at culinary engineering. Uh, when it comes to constructing things, you pretty much have to slop a bunch of meringue on and just even it out, smooth it out, and take a spoon and start dolloping to get those nice peaks. You have five minutes. Start picking your Alaska. When I put it in the oven, I'm actually a little bit proud that I've actually pulled this off. My ice cream is solid, and my meringue is perfect. I put my baked Alaska in the oven. I feel like I'm a little bit out. Everyone's doing awesome, but Kayla is behind everybody. A little bit worried about Kayla right now. She's got to get her baked Alaska in the oven. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Kayla's got the torch going. That's probably a smart idea. Mm -hmm. If you don't have enough time, just fucking sear it. That's what I would do. Yeah, so my meringue isn't crisping up as much as I would like it to, so I'm just going to blow towards the top of it really quickly. Don't know what it will do to the meringue, but it looks pretty. Nice. Very smart, Kayla. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heads up! Great job. Great job, guys. Great job. Great job. Time is up, and I'm definitely worried. My baked Alaska looked like an igloo, but a really ugly igloo. Please bring your baked Alaskas up to the front to be tasted. Compared to the beginning, I definitely thought I was going home. Taking out my baked Alaska, I think I have a pretty good chance of winning this. I know inside this meringue, my ice cream is soft. Right now, I'm not hoping to be the best. I'm hoping somebody screwed up more than I did. Now the judges will taste each baked Alaska and decide which cooks stay and which cooks will leave the Master Chef Canada kitchen once and for all. Eric! Hello, Chef. I tell ya, cuts beautifully. Sponge, nice and fluffy. Meringue, nicely crisp. That cake, to me, is beautiful. You tell me you cannot make dessert, eh? That doesn't say it. You tend to underrate yourself. Sometimes, you have to Pat yourself on the back. Thanks, Chef. Eric. Chef. Mm. It is very good. Thank you, Chef. Danielle. Chef, this is a maple pistachio baked Alaska. Ice cream was a little soft. Yeah.
The sponge is a little disappointing. Yeah. Ice cream was soft? Yeah, it was. I'm guessing it's because of the insulation of the sponge below. That made the ice cream melt on you. Thank you. Wow. Not your finest work? Definitely not. I want this bad. I do not want to go home on a stupid dessert. This is intense, man. Hi, Julie. Hi. You think you honored a classic? I did. Some nice layers happening here. Sponge cake, right in the bottom. It looks a little grainy. Mm. Did you incorporate all the flour? I tried to. Because it looks like there's raw flour in here. Wow, I've never seen a baked Alaska with raw flour. That might be very costly for you. Yes, I know that. Julie. Hi. Looks like the loading of the meringue got a little carried away there, huh? Yeah. Good success on the ice cream, though, by the looks of it. I had mentioned to you about the yes, you did. flour and the sponge. Listen, the texture of the meringue is good, the ice cream is good. Not listening to Chef Michael could send me home.